guys, so today I am going to be doing kind of an unboxing video. I did receive a First Look Lushies box from Lush with some of the new Christmas items inside. Now some of these items I already purchased myself and you have seen in my Christmas haul, uh, but there are a couple of items that I did not actually have a chance to buy yet. So I'm very excited to show you guys those and just kind of like how I felt about some of the other products that I have already used thus far. So before I get into that, I know everyone is probably going to like ask me uh, my thoughts about what is going on with uh, the Lush UK not shipping to the US anymore. And I don't want to get into a whole video on that because that's not what I want this video to be about. But I just want to say I am disappointed in this, but it's out of our hands. There's nothing we can really do about it. So I'm just kind of gonna play it by ear and hope that things will eventually get resolved and, you know, go back to normal at some point when that will be, no one knows. So, uh, but if you guys have not heard, um, I think it was yesterday and Lush, I don't think even like made an announcement at all. Uh, but we found out just through the Lush community that the Lush UK site where we get most of our exclusives from are no longer going to ship to the U.S. So it's very devastating, not only because of not being able to get exclusives, but also because it's sometimes cheaper to buy on the UK site as opposed to buying on the US site, just uh, price differences. And yeah, not getting exclusives is going to be a very, very hard thing. And it's kind of scary too, I think, for Lush as a company to really like not have our... <laughs> revenue you know what i mean because you know the hardcore lushies were we were just placing orders all the time on their website to get exclusives and stuff like that so like i said it's out of our out of our hands so we can just cross our fingers that things will eventually maybe go back to normal and we'll be able to at some point again um order from the uk site so, but like I said, this video is going to be about the Christmas goodies. Um, the Christmas line should be in stores by November 1st. So definitely keep an eye out on your local Lush shops. Um, I know a lot of Lush shops have their own Facebook pages for that specific shop. So if you go to the shop to actually get your Lush products, um, definitely look on Facebook to see if they have their own Facebook page. That'll help you kind of stay in tuned of when, you know, they get their products in so you can get to the shop. Um, my local Lush shop, I think next week, I want to say they're doing um, Lord of Misrule um, bath bombs which you can make at the store. And I really want to try to go to that because I never actually had a chance to go make my own Lush product at a store. So I want to try to check that out. So we'll see if I actually get a chance to do that. That would be amazing. So anyway, my package arrived. This side safe. <laughs> so this is the box that it came in. And I am just, oh, some of my absolute already favorites for Christmas was in here. So we're just going to go over everything. Uh, the first product is the Yognog Shower Gel. Now, I did purchase this already, um, and I am so excited to get another one. This is a product that if you really weren't planning on buying a lot from Lush at Christmas, um, this is something that you should at least definitely try to get, especially if you are a lover of the Yognog fragrance. This smells so good and it is so spot on as far as the Yognog scent goes. It's just such a creamy, caramelly, toffee, just decadent. It is absolutely, absolutely decadent smelling. Oh my gosh, I love it. So perfect Christmas scent too. And yeah, it's, if you love Yognog and oh my gosh, and it's so shimmery and beautiful, you guys. That's gorgeous. So there's just a shot of that buttery, absolute 
buttery goodness. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at it. It's like pure liquid gold. Oh my God, it smells so good. I just want to like lick my hand. That is how amazing it smells. I'm like looking for something I can wipe my hands off with. So a product that I did not have a chance to purchase yet, but that I really wanted to try was the Butter Bear Soap. Now I love Butter Bear. I have been a fan of Butter Bear for a very long time. Butter Bear as a bath bomb, we all know he, doesn't really do much as far as like color or anything like that, but he's filled with those wonderful cocoa butters that just make your skin feel amazing. And the fragrance of him is so incredibly nice. So, oh, I'm so excited to have the Butter Bear soap. I remember one year for Christmas, Lush came out with a tin just filled with nothing but Butter Bear bath bombs. And I had to have that. Um, it was definitely one of my favorite Lush gift sets. Uh, that I ever received. So he is shaped like Butter Bear and obviously has that wonderful Butter Bear fragrance. To me, Butter Bear smells like cocoa butter. Like it just has such a calming kind of soft scent to it. So I'm just so excited to have this. Mm, yes, this was something that had I not received it in this first look Lushies box, I definitely would have picked one up when I went to the shop. So also in this box was a Chris the Camel bath bomb. And I have already done a demo of this bath bomb here on my channel. I have so many Lush Christmas products to do demos of, but I already actually did one of this and it became an instantaneous favorite. So I was so excited to see this in my box. This bath bomb has such a wonderful, warm, spicy smell to it. It's just very cinnamony and it was just a really fun bath bomb too. Like this part here, a lot of color shot off of it. There were these little gold star speckles that came off and he was a slow fizzing bath bomb as well. So it lasted quite a while and I just love it. I mean, it's a camel and it's so stinking cute and it smells amazing, especially if you're like me and you love the warm spicy scents and you know, you kind of get the the poops of all of the citrus. This is like a go-to awesome uh, warm and spicy scented bath bomb. So really excited for another one of those. They did send both of the new shower jellies, the Drummer's Drumming and the Silver Bells. And I did actually purchase both of these as well myself. Um, these ones are really cute. Why can't I open this? I just, oh my gosh. There we go. So Silver Bells is made with lime and orange oil and it also has black sesame milk in it, which I can't wait to try. I haven't um, had a chance yet to uh, do a demo of this or anything like that, but look at it. It is shaped like a bell and it's just this beautiful silver shimmer to it. And it smells really nice. It's definitely a citrus, Fragrance, I definitely smell the orange and the lime in there. So if you like citrus scents, then that's um, a really good one I think that you will like. And it's just, it's so festive and cute. So they sent that one. And then they also sent the Drummer's Drumming Shower Jelly. And this one actually looks like a little yellow drum. You can kind of see the indentations on it. And this one smells like peach. So if you are a fan of just like the juicy, fruity peach scent, think of the peach bath bomb at Valentine's Day that came out, then this one is for you. Just definite peach fragrance, which is nice because there just isn't a lot of Lush products that smells like peaches. So I really do like the scent of that. So another bath bomb they sent was Jingle Bells, which looks like this. It's just a white bath bomb with a pretty pink bow on top. And you can hear when you shake it, 
So that sound that you hear in there is sea salt. Um, some of the fragrances in this are orange and patchouli. Now, when I smell it, I don't necessarily detect either of those scents just like, oh yes, I smell orange or oh yes, I smell patchouli. It definitely to me has a fresh kind of scent, if that makes sense. Slightly perfumey is how I would describe it, like a fresh perfumey fragrance. It smells good and I know this is really weird and this shows my age and not many people, if any, are even going to know anything about what I'm talking about, but there used to be a cartoon called The Wuzzles. Back when I was a little girl, I absolutely loved The Wuzzles. It was like one of my favorite cartoons. Anyway, long story short, they had a Wuzzles perfume, which, fun times, hold on. So anyway, they had a Wuzzles perfume and guys, you know how I am with scents. I still have my freaking Wuzzles perfume from when I was a little girl. You can still see there's a little bit left in there. Uh, but so weirdly to me, I feel like this smells like my Wuzzles perfume. Um, so just a very fresh, perfumey kind of smell. Like, I don't know. That's just, I smell the Wuzzles perfume when I smell this. So if anyone even remotely remembers or ever had the Wuzzles perfume. That <laughs> that's what the Wuzzles perfume smells like. It smells like the Jingle Bell bath bomb. So I really like that. I have not had a chance to demo the one that I purchased. So I definitely feel like that's going to be like one of the next ones I might do just because the scent it's so nostalgic for me because like I said, for me, it reminds me of the Wuzzles perfume. All right, the next thing is the Snowman Bath Melt Tablet. Now, I demoed, oh, I want to say it was more than one of these last year when they came out. So, if you, you know, haven't seen those, then you can just check my videos. But I don't think... I demoed this one yet and there were still some that I had from last year that I never had a chance to demo yet but this one is the snowman and as soon as I can get it out of here to show you guys these things are very large so if you've never had a chance to try uh, one of the bath melt tablets they are big um, they're kind of flat and they come on this cording so essentially it looks like an old vintage style uh, Christmas ornament, basically. And something else with this cording, you could hook it over uh, the faucet to your running water. So it just kind of hangs and then the water comes over it and helps melt it uh, down. Or you can just use it like a regular bath and dip it into your water. You can do it however you want to. And you obviously don't have to use the whole thing. Uh, but this one is the snowman. It's very pretty. It's like a teal blue with a white. Um, it almost looks like a cookie or something. It's very cute. And it smells like lemons. Um, it's made with like lemon myrtle, lemon oil. So it definitely has that lemon fragrance to it. It's a sweet lemon. Um, I I like it. Uh, you guys know how I feel sometimes about citrus and lemons, but it does have a nice smell. Like when I smell it, it kind of almost reminds me of a lemon cookie, like a sugar, a sugary lemon kind of fragrance. So um, I will try to get a demo up of that one because I don't think I don't think I have a demo up of that. You know, when you have done demos of so many different bath bombs and bath products, sometimes it gets hard to remember which ones I have done and which ones I have not. All right, so next is another soap. This one is called Night Bloom and it is just a purple shaped, a purple shape. Yep, purple is the shape. A purple colored crescent moon shaped soap. Oh, okay, mine's purple, but these actually come in two different colors. There's a yellow and a purple. They both have the same fragrance, but the one I received is purple. So if you would order this online, um, there, there's probably no real guarantee if you get a purple or yellow. So just letting you guys know. 
So the fragrances in this is rosemary, honeysuckle, sage. Oh, it's herbally, but like slightly, I don't know. I feel like I smell a berryness to it. And <laughs> maybe it's just because of the color, but this is a pretty large bar of soap and it does feel, just feeling it, it feels kind of creamy. It reminds me of like a fortune cookie or something like that. Uh, but it's really gorgeous. I love like kind of the the shape of it. Like if you're using it in the shower, it you can kind of get like a good grip on it kind of thing, which is nice. So yeah, that smells really good. Especially if you like um, herbally type fragrances with the rosemary and the sage. So that's awesome. I didn't purchase, I actually didn't purchase any soaps when I placed my Christmas um, order because I still like, I, I kind of have a horde of lush soaps. So I'm trying to get through all of them, but that butter bear is one that I definitely had seen myself picking up <laughs> in the store regardless. So next we have another bath bomb. This one is called Pop Art. And this looks like a piece of popcorn. It is shaped like the uh, Blackberry and Comforter bath bomb. And, but this one's yellow and it, honest, honest to God, to me, it definitely looks like a popcorn kernel, even with like extra butter bits with the darker yellow. It's very fun looking. Um, scent wise, I was seeing people say this is supposed to be the let the good times roll fragrance, but to me, I don't smell that. To me, I smell yognog when I smell this bath bomb, so I don't know for sure exactly what it's supposed to um, resemble scent-wise and like the Lush scent family, but to me, I smell yognog. It has almost like a caramelly, like it remind me of like caramel popcorn basically. It smells really good and I definitely feel like I personally detect the Yognog fragrance in it. So I don't know if that's just my nose. When I first, in my Lush Christmas order, I kind of thought maybe after I was seeing people saying it was the good, let the good times rule fragrance, I was thinking maybe like mine was up against my Yognog bubble bar and that's just what I was smelling. But even now, smelling this one, which was not, you know, it was in its own little bag and everything. I still smell Yognog. So if you guys have smelled this before, let me know what you smell when you sniff it because I smell Yognog, which is great. <laughs> I also got a Snow Fairy Naked Shower Gel. So let me open this bad boy up. I don't think I have the naked version of the Snow Fairy shower gel. I just have it in liquid. So, oh, that is such a pretty pink. Oh my gosh, and this thing is really big. So here's what it looks like. You can see all the way around it. That's a very large sh naked shower gel. Um. Smells like Snow Fairy. If you, <laughs> if you honest to God, never smelled the Snow Fairy fragrance before, and if you like sweet, candy, sugary, bubblegummy type scents, then you will absolutely love this. I think it's one of those fragrances that I feel like you can't really outgrow. Like you can use it at any age and still get just as excited to use it. Um, I have all different kinds of Snow Fairy products, but Snow Fairy to me is just that scent that it's so hard not to smell and just smile. Like it just puts a smile on your face kind of thing. So, oh yes, I I really am a fan of it. And I prefer to use it at Christmas time just because it reminds me of the Christmas season. But it's definitely a fragrance you could wear and use all throughout the year. So I'm excited to have a naked version of that. All right, and then our last product is the Don't Let the Bells End Amaze Ball. So let's get this out of here. I have done one demo of an Amaze Ball so far. I've done the uh, Fly Me to the Moon Amaze Ball and I really liked it. 
the, hold on, I'm crinkling all over the place. The concept of the Amaze Balls is super awesome in my opinion. So essentially, you have the bath bomb, you have this little stopper on the top, which is also made of a bath bomb, and then on the inside, you have this bath bomb, bubble bar-esque powdery dust, and also like large chunks of them. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. Well, thankfully I already have this one because there's no way I'm gonna be able to demo this one for you. This whole thing just completely fell apart on me. <laughs> it's, this is pretty soft. So um, I feel like maybe it just didn't get hard enough, but <laughs> plus side, we can see inside a little better. So that is what the the dust looks like in some, some of the, um, salt, the large chunks of sea salt. Let me sit this down. I'm gonna have some, some cleaning to do after this. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh. I can't believe that happened. All right, but like I said, we can actually see the, um, oops, how do I wanna do this? The chunky pieces of sea salt, there we go. Um, there's a lot of those in there, so, Yes, when I did the demo of that, the bath bomb, the, the powdery dust that's inside actually will create a little bit of bubbles to your tub, which is nice. So when you're using it, you can sprinkle in some of that powder and just use that as a bath, or you can stick, you can put in the powder first, then put the bath bomb in, or you can just use the bath bomb in a separate, um, tub adventure and use the dust in another. So you kind of get more than one use out of it if you want to, if that's how you like to kind of savor your um, lush products. But <laughs> it looks like I just took a bite out of it. This one has almond and ylang ylang in it. And to me, it definitely, I smell the almond in it. It smells really, really nice, um, but definitely I get a lot of the almond fragrance. So I'm excited for it. Like I said, I did purchase this one in my my Lush Christmas haul, so I do have another one. Um, this one I will just use. That is <laughs> everything that was in this uh, First Look Lushies box that I received. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have purchased any of the Christmas products yet um, from the Lush UK site, <laughs> uh, you'll have to let me know um, which ones you use and which ones you have liked so far or what products you're really looking forward to for the holiday season. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.